The Palace of Versailles is one of France's most renowned castles. It lies in the city of Versailles, about 10 kilometers from the French capital. Its history dates back to Louis XIII, who ruled France between 1610 and 1643. While hunting in Versailles, a rural village at the time, the king came to enjoy the area. In 1623, he ordered the construction of a pavilion on the site, and later, in 1634, completed the renovation of a small palace. Louis the Sun King ruled France from 1643 and 1715, and decided to convert the small palace into something grand and opulent. He started designing projects in 1661, initially coordinated by Louis Laveau and later by Hardouin Mansart. To develop the majestic garden, the monarch enlisted the talents of the architect and landscape designer André Le Nôtre. With their stunning symmetrical projections and exquisite shapes, the gardens feature marvelous flower beds, fountains, groves, statues, and canals, all of which were only completed during Louis XVI's rule. The royal residence was so carefully extended, improved, and built that the Palace of Versailles continued to expand even after Louis XVI's death. The Palace of Versailles is renowned for its grandeur and magnificence. The royal building boasts 2,115 windows, 352 chimneys, 67 staircases, 700 rooms, and more than 1,000 fireplaces. It also has 1,000 paintings and 3,000 sculptures throughout the castle, but not all of them can be seen by the public. Despite the overwhelming number of rooms and artistic ornaments, the palace's lack of toilets and basic sanitation is interesting because, in the past, hygiene standards were quite different. For instance, people often went to the toilet in the royal residence's corridors. The best-known rooms include the Hall of Mirrors, built between 1678 and 1684, with 357 mirrors and a wide view of the wonderful garden surrounding the palace. This is where some important historical events took place. An agreement was signed in 1871 that sealed the end of the Franco-Prussian War. The Treaty of Paris was signed in 1783, when the British officially recognized the United States' independence. The Treaty of Versailles was also signed in the same historic room in 1919, following the end of the First World War. The Gallery of Great Battles is another highlight. It contains 33 paintings that tell the story of France and 80 busts of outstanding French officers who perished in battle. It is also worth mentioning the Petit Trianon, a palace built by the order of Louis XV for his mistress, Madame de Pompadour. Pompadour sadly died before the palace was completed, so the Petit Trianon was dedicated to Madame du Barry. When Louis died in 1774, she was evicted. The Petit Trianon then rose to fame by being Marie Antoinette's favorite hideaway. The Palace of Versailles became the seat and court of the French government in 1682, and, since then, has become a powerful symbol of the French monarchy. The royal castle served as the seat of the French crown until the French Revolution. In 1789, the palace was stormed, and King Louis XVI and his wife Marie Antoinette fled to Paris. Besides its exquisite and luxurious architecture, France's best-known royal castle is home to a very meaningful part of the country's past, serving as a residence for the French monarchs, one of the stages of the French Revolution, and the place where important treaties were concluded. For all this grandeur and refinement, the Palace of Versailles draws around 8 million tourists every year, placing it second only to the Louvre Museum as France's most visited tourist attraction.